Welcome back to the 2016 Swatch Freeride World Tour, where it is crunch time for the world's top freeriders. Two events are now in the bag, Valnor Arcalis Andorra and Chamonix France. We're now here in Fieberbrunn, Austria, to decide which of our riders will be boarding that plane bound for Haines, Alaska, and potentially ride the mighty Bec de Ross to the finals in Verbier. Well, the pressure is evident, the action is always afoot here in the Tyrolean Alps of Austria. Let's take a look at the men's ski category now, where Logan Pahoda of Canada sits atop the current rankings. With a fourth in Valnord and a second place in Chamonix, Pahoda has laid down the goods all season long. On his tails, French rider Louis Colin Patton, who swept the podium with an impeccable first place run at the last stop in Chamonix. And currently sitting in third place in the rankings, local Austrian Fabio Studer, a long-time freeride world tour rider with impressive freestyle ability. A third place in Chamonix shows he can deliver, but he's going to have to ward off the rest of the pack. Well, 2016 is also full of surprises, including legends of the Freeride World Tour who have struggled to deliver top runs yet this season. Sweden's Reine Barker at USA's Drew Tapke and even reigning world champion George Rodney from the U.S who has been plagued by falls this season. Well, make no mistake, the book has not yet been written and Fieberbrunn not yet written. Even Sam Smoothie will testify to that. The field is wide open and all eyes are up on the build sea loader here in Fieberbrunn. Well, over in the ski women's category, local legendary ripper Ava Valkner has charged this season with two consecutive second place finishes. Ava has secured her spot in Alaska, but expect heavy competition in the ranks below for the remaining spots. Sweden's Matilda Rapoport, who conquered Verbier's Bec de Ross in 2013, is ramping up points after a slow start. She and fellow Swede Evelina Nilsson both sit atop the bubble at 6th and 7th place. It's a fight for survival for them both to advance. Keep your eyes peeled for some big lines from both of these riders. Also, 2013 world champion Nadine Volner is here to compete on her home mountain again. That was plagued by a fall in Chamonix. Look to Nadine to go all out here in the Tyrolean Alps. Let's have a look at the men's snowboard category now where Sammy Lubke from the U.S. is ripping it up. Blasting a near-perfect run in Chamonix for the win and a third in Valnor, Sammy Lubke of the USA is on fire. And fellow American Ralph Backstrom from the U.S. isn't far behind Lubke in the standings. For the podium in Chamonix, he secured his second spot. And then, only two years on the Freeride World Tour, British powderhouse Sasha Ham has firmly planted his flag this season. A win in Valnord was a shot across the bow for the other tour riders. And mere points behind Ham, Francis Camille Almond waits in fourth place with his sights firmly set on Verbier. Well, Fieberbrunn could mark the last run of the season for a lot of the rest of the pack. Riders like Canada's Jamie Rizzuto, who nabbed second place in Chamonix from Ralph Backstrom, and 2014 world champion Emilien Badu of Switzerland. Who will make the cut for Alaska? The competition will be fierce here in Fieberbrunn. Well, one rider certainly stands out in the women's snowboard category, and that is our reigning world champion, 21-year-old Estelle Ballet of Switzerland. A first and then second place finish this season with strong overall scores puts this rider well atop the standings. And her first year on the tour, Marion Herti of France has earned her second place here in the standings and looks well poised for Alaska and beyond. But now is not the time to rest. Veteran and 2011 Freeride World Tour champion Anne Floor Markser is looking very strong this season. Well, the pedal is to the metal, the kettle is boiling over, and there is no messing around here in Fieberbrunn. The Freeride World Tour has landed, and it's all on the line for the world's top freeriders. <laughs>